music. Well, one of the major reasons was the album Sidewinder by Lee Morgan. I heard this first song from this album and it's turned my life around. And I fell in love with this recording. I transcribed this solo. I was age 13. I was age 14 or 15, I believe. And it took me like a whole summer. And up until now, it's still my favorite solo. Every time I stuck with something, I always come back to this recording and answer all my questions. So this is like my main inspiration as a trumpet player. But later it was a lot more inspirations, such as Peyton Finney, Mel Schotter, it was why I discovered a lot of players who opened a lot for me. A lot of players I played with, actually, which is Michael Brayton, they call it Gonzalo de Boca. Well, I usually start my day with playing lots of long tones. Uh, basically try to fix my sound, try to find my sound, try to feel flexible and good with my aperture. And uh, long tones is also music. I try to play them as musical as possible. And uh, it's a long routine, I don't want to go into details, but it's, uh, this routine involves a lot of lip, lip, lip flexibility, a lot of pedal tones, uh, basically a lot of uh, trumpet style, but basically I concentrate on my sound. Once I reach my sound, which I like, I'm transferring my attention to the jazz, phrasing, music, and basically I call this improvisation, composition, whatever you want to call. So basically I start, this is my, one of my favorite bebop phrase, and I try to develop this phrase and try to find something new. I can even use the same phrase every day, in every day I'm trying to find something new, combine this phrase with different kind of material, for example. Anyway, that's, it's a probably bad example, but basically what I did right now, I pick up Clifford Brown, Clifford Brown Bebop phrase and try to merge this phrase with a bunch of different ideas which eventually I'm gonna choose a few ideas and find something related to this phrase which is gonna lead me to the next phrase, to next melody. I don't know if it's gonna lead me but it's definitely works for me. It's my daily routine. <laughs> Usually when I compose music for my albums, for my album, actually recently I just recorded and my new album is just released actually, Moments Captured. And I, what I'm trying to say, when I compose my music, I compose for certain players, I keep their sound in my mind immediately, even before I start to compose this music. I usually start with whistling or just imagining and play those melodies and uh, of course when I compose I try to leave a lot of room for them to add some opinions and develop in their own way. That, that's the idea of composition to, share, to introduce to my idea and ask some help. Guys, what are you saying? Usually, when I write for such players, like for example, last time it was Chris Potter, he was appearing on quite a few of my CD, like about 10 or something like that. Eddie Harland as well, and uh, Will Vinson. Well, you know, usually, usually what happens, all those guys have big history playing with some other bands, some other projects, and uh, I already know their sound so well, and it's really make my compositions easier, easier to write, smoother and easier. Well, outside of my music, first of all, I never have enough time to practice, of course, like every musician, because we travel so much, all the stuff in the city, teaching, recording, but of course I would like to do something else, not just to play trumpet. Um, I like to exercise. My, the best exercise is, is daily running routine. I do it like about seven miles, sometimes every day actually, but at least five times a week, usually six times a week, uh, whenever I can. And that's actually my biggest hobby. I travel a lot in Europe and Asia. My first thing when, whenever I arrive to another country, I have I just have my, my, my run application, 
on my bed, with my alarm doesn't matter. So I basically I look at the roots and I just go with my headphones, listen a lot of music during the run. Once you listen to music while you run, it's completely different. You can pay attention to details, you can organize some different stuff. You can you know, the the record, but it's, every time it's different, you can feel different stuff. Uh, what else? Uh, I have a son, he is almost 17 years old, he is an out of, a kind of out of wear. Just been your summer camp five weeks in Berkeley, preparing yourself for Berkeley school. So I like to hang out with him, talk about different stuff, kind of encourage him to, of course, practice, come up, talk about different things, like girls, and stuff like that. It's okay. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, that's probably it. I like to wine taste once in a while.